First, we are going to load Word and select a blank document. We will then click File, Open and Add a Place. Select Office 365 SharePoint. You will now be prompted for your Office 365 email address. This was provided to you by your IT team. When the Office 365 credentials box prompts, enter your Office 365 password and press enter to sign in. The software will take a moment to load and once completed you can now see the SharePoint online storage and OneDrive for business. You can now navigate through these file systems to access your documents within your cloud storage. When navigating the SharePoint storage, you will be presented with a pop-out navigation pane. Select the documents area. You can now access and modify documents you have been given rights to. If your company has multiple SharePoint sites, you can paste the documents URL into the navigation pane and this will provide you access. Now that we have attached SharePoint and OneDrive for Business to your office suite, we can start creating documents. First, we want to open a blank document and create the contents required. When you are ready to save, click File, Save As and select either OneDrive for Business Storage or SharePoint Document Share. Navigate to the area that you would like to save the document and provide the document with a name. Then you simply click Save. You will see at the bottom of Word that the document is now syncing to the cloud storage selected. When you require to open an existing document, you select File, Open, select the cloud storage required and navigate to that document. Double click the document to open. Once completed editing, you simply press Save in the top corner. Excel works in the same way as Word when opening documents and saving documents. Because we have added both storage areas to Word, they then become available within other applications within the Office Suite, so no need for you to add the storage again. When you have finished creating and saving documents with Word and Excel, they will then be available within your Office 365 portal. This provides great flexibility when needing to access your documents on the go or at client sites. Attaching documents to a new mail within Outlook is very simple. Open a new message and select Attach. Navigate to the bottom of the list and select Browse Web Locations. Select the cloud storage required. Navigate to the document and click Insert. I have attached a document from both SharePoint Shared Storage and OneDrive for Business Cloud Storage. Once attached, you can fill out the body of the email and send as normal. 